started yet. I just want to remind everyone again, please take your seats. Um, the way we're trying to arrange this is that gentlemen are going to be on my left, as feasible, and ladies on my right. These are the visual cues over here. So um, everybody, ladies towards the inner hallway, if possible, they're seating. Um, and gentlemen closer to the parking lot here on my left, please take your seats. We'd like to special day our hearts are full of pleasure a day that brings the two of you close together we're gathered here to celebrate a moment you'll always treasure we ask Allah to make your love last forever let's raise our hands and make dua like the Prophet taught us and with one voice let's all say 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 Barakallahu lakuma wa baraka alaykuma wa jama'a baynakuma fi khair Barakallahu lakuma wa baraka Allahi na shaytani rajeem Bismillahirrahmanirrahim 
قد أفلح المؤمنون الذين هم في صلاتهم خاشعون والذين هم عن اللغو معرضون والذين هم للزكاة فاعلون والذين هم لفروجهم حافظون إلا على أزواجهم أو ما ملكت أيمانهم فإنهم غير ملومون فمن ابتغى وراء ذلك فأولئك هم العادون والذين هم لأماناتهم وعهدهم راعون والذين هم على صلواتهم يحافظون أولئك هم الوارثون الذين يرثون الفردوس هم فيها قادلون بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ومن آياته أن خلق لكم من أنفسكم أزواجا لتسكنوا إليها وجعل بينكم مودة ورحمة إن في ذلك لآيات لقوم صدق الله العظيم تكبير 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 um, Next I would like to introduce my uncle Khalid Labib who will be officiating this ceremony بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهدي الله فلا مضل له ومن يضله فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن سيدنا وحبيبنا محمدا عبد الله ورسوله أما بعد I wanted to uh, start first by thanking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who had gathered us in this joyful and beautiful day, alhamdulillah, the day of uh, marriage of Maryam and Ziyad. This is the fourth day of uh, Jumad al-Awwal. The, the Jumad al-Awwal is the month in the history calendar in the year 1439, which is equivalent to the 21st day of January. Uh, 2018. I would like to maybe give a little bit of a, an introduction about what we plan to do because we do have an audience that are not familiar with the Muslim faith. So it is good to give a little bit of an introduction before we get on, on into the uh, officiation of the marriage itself. Alhamdulillah, what we are witnessing today is a creation of a new uh, nucleus in the society, which is the foundation of the uh, Muslims, because the Muslim family is where the incubation for a whole generation of people that are going to come worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, carry forth the message of Islam, and uh, grow and get offsprings and and propagate the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has officiated and has uh, told us that this marriage, the marriage, the process of marriage itself, is a very sacred one in Islam. And there are many ayat and hadith that talk about that. We'll mention some of them today as we give this uh, brief introduction. Allah subhanahu wa 
ta'ala described this relationship between the man and the woman as وَأَخَذْنَ مِنْكُمْ مِثَاقًا غَلِيظًا We have taken a very heavy and, and strong covenant amongst you, the man and the woman, meaning that this agreement of marriage is not a simple agreement, it is not like any other transaction that one can get into. It is rather something that is a very sacred covenant that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala describes the marriage to be. In other ayat, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions that this is a ni'mah. In a chapter of the Quran uh, called the chapter of Surah Nahl, uh, the bees, which is also uh, many, many of the scholars call it Surah al naam which are the bounties that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has bestowed and reminding us that he has bestowed upon us in this dunya. And one of the many bounties as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala goes through this chapter reminds us of the creation that he had given and that he had created for us in, able for, in order for us to live and survive and worship him on, in, this, on this, uh, in this dunya. Of this na'am uh, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created from ourselves partners. From ourselves. جَعَلَ لَكُمْ مِنْ أَنفُسِكُمْ أَزْوَاجٍ وَجَعَلَ مِنْ أَزْوَاجِكُمْ بَنِينَ وَحَفَدَةً And he has created from these partners of yours Banin, children that will come and Hafada and grandchildren that will come all for the purpose of worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and carrying forth the message of La ilaha illallah and, and the unification of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala And if you know it that, the, that the, this, the way the description came in this ayah, جَعَلَ لَكُمْ مِنْ أَنفُسِكُمْ He's created from your own self, meaning that the husband and wife are very much the same. They are the same thing. They are created from the same thing. They have the same feelings, same emotions, same capabilities as humans. They cry, they laugh, they do everything that each other... So the husband is not a foreign thing to the wife, neither that the wife is a foreign thing to the husband. They are one and the same. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says the same thing in the beginning of Surah Al-Nisa. Ya ayyuhal nasu taqwa rabbakum. O you people, O you people, fear your Lord. Taqwa rabbakum. Alladhi khalaqakum min nafsin wahida. The one that created you from a single soul. So the two creations are actually one. Wa khalaqa minha and created from that soul which is the soul of Adam. Wa khalaqa minha zawjaha. Created the soul of Eve. وَبَثَّ مِنْهُمَا رِجَالًا كَثِيرًا وَنِسَاءً And created from those two couple many men and women that came after, afterwards and with the proper raising and with the proper guidance that is given to these generations we have more people worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on this earth and the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam similarly has given us many uh, encouragements for the, for, the, for the kids Alhamdulillah to get married Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Man istata'a minkum ul ba'a tafayya tazawaj. Whoever is capable of getting married should actually just get married. And then Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam also not just enticed us to do that, and not just that, told us that, tana kahu, tana salu, get married and get in numbers. Fa inni mubahin bikum ul umam. I'm going to be proud of you on the day of judgment. And Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam set for us many criteria for this, and he said, if a person has come to you, that you accept his deen and and his, his manners and demeanor and, 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 the, and the kindness that he's bringing and the love for the deen of Islam and the love to establish the family that is built around the deen of Islam. فزوجوه. We'll get that person married. إن لم تفعلوا, and if you do not do that, it will become a massive tribulation on the earth if we do not do that. And similarly, has put the criteria for the, for the girls to be married. Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Tumkah mar'atu li arba. The woman usually is, is, is uh, married for one of four things. Alhamdulillah, today we have, alhamdulillah, all four of them in Maryam, inshaAllah. Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that a woman gets married because she is beautiful, that's number one. Or she comes from a good lineage, the, you know, her family and the name of the family, that is number two. Or limaliha, 
So, ولمالها for her money and, and, and the wealth and ولدينها and the last one is for her deen, for her religion because this is, this is the teacher that is going to teach these kids in this house and is going to raise the righteous people that will be good for the society inshallah and will be around not only worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but benefiting the entire society that is around them so that is that why that, that's why this selection is a very critical selection right so Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam after listing the different types of people says Fal for deen, you know, make sure you pick up the one that has the religion, the strong and good religion, and this is the one that you should focus on. And then Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam finally said that this dunya, what you go along with it, this here, this the the, 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 the current place that we live in, and the times that we live in, as long as we live on this earth. We are carrying during a small journey that we live in. And during this journey, you have to take with you what is what what, what makes you go through it without trouble. And what this is what we call in the Arabic language al mataq These are the things that you take with you during the journey of life. And Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam defined what is the best thing to take with you during this journey of life. Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Al Dunya Mata, this life that we are living is short whether it's 60, 70, 80 years, sometimes even shorter than that. So what is the most critical thing that we take with us during this journey? Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, dunya mata. And the best thing that you take during the journey of this dunya, al mar al-saliha, the righteous woman. We ask Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala to make Maryam the righteous woman to her husband to be, inshaAllah, and to make Ziyad a righteous person, to make their house, inshaAllah, built upon the uh, love and built upon the taqwa of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and that, that they inshallah live a happy and healthy life. Uh, let me give just a couple of uh, explanations of what we are about to do in terms of the actual officiation of marriage. Marriage in Islam has uh, several pillars that are a must for it to be an officially, mar uh, an officially Islamic marriage. Uh, the first one, I have to have the, uh, the bride, that's for sure. I have to have the groom also, that is another uh, critical component. And, uh, and with, with those two, we have to have two people that will be the witnesses for this marriage. Alhamdulillah, we have more than 400 people, the witnesses, but we have uh, Dr. Yasser Labib, who is uh, uh, my brother, a uh, physician in Canada. And, uh, and we have uh, Nijad Zaki, who is uh, an attorney here in California. Both of them are going to be our witnesses, inshallah, for, for this marriage tonight. And the f f fourth component of the marriage, and for it to become legitimate, there need to be a wali, which is a representative of the bride that actually just acts upon her, upon her request and upon her, her permission. And that is why before I start being the representative also of my daughter, I will get her permission to that I become her representative and the one that is to act upon this contract on her behalf. And then uh, finally there need to be uh, a dowry. This is a gift that is paid by the husband and uh, the husband to be or by the groom to the bride. And this is a gift of their selection and we let them alhamdulillah uh, do that offline. So uh, inshallah we can, uh, we can get started with the actual up uh, now. Uh, so, and uh, the last thing I wanted to say is that, and again, I, I'm, I'm, I'm just wanting to be a little bit more elaborate because of the uh, people that are not familiar with the Muslim faith and what faith, faith and what, what they do, is that the, the, other, the other pillar that we have to do is what we call an ijab and al qabul that the representative of the wife has to, uh, the, uh, you know, commence the, the, the marriage and uh, show his acceptance, the groom, returns back by accepting and we both do a final confirmation of uh, acceptance and that is uh, that is how uh, we will proceed inshallah in alhamdulillah nahmaduhu wa nasta'inuhu wa nastaghfiruh wa na'udhu billahi min shururi anfusina wa min sayyi'ati a'malina man yahdi allahu fala mudilla lahu wa man yudlilhu fala hadiya lahu wa ashhadu an la ilaha illa allah wahdahu la sharika lahu wa ashhadu anna sayyidana wa muhammadan abdullahi wa rasuluhu uh, Mariam, do you accept that uh, I be your 
Wally and representative of the Day for this marriage? I do. <laughs> Good, so we got that portion now. <laughs> So, uh, so let me now hold the hands of uh, the, the uh, groom. Uh, our groom is uh, Dr. Ziad uh, Zaki, uh, for those uh, who know him. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, wa salatu wa salamu ala ashraf al-mursaleen, Sayyidina Muhammad, wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam, tasliman kathira. Amma ba'd, fa'inni istakhartu Allah ta'ala, wa zawajtuka, ابنتي وموكلتي مريم خالد لبيب لنفسك على كتاب الله وعلى سنة رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم وعلى الصداق المسمى بيننا عاجله وآجله والحاضرون يشهدون بذلك والله خير الشهيد قبلت أنا زيادة عمر زكي زواج ابنتك وموكلتك مريم خالد لبيب لنفسي على على كتاب الله وسنة رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم وعلى الصداق المسمى بيننا عاجله وآجله والحاضرون يشهدون بذلك والله خير الشاهدين. قبلت زواجها قبلت زواجها الحمد لله Praise Allah for sending me you, my love You found your home, it's here with me And I'm here with you Now let me let you know You've opened my heart I was always thinking that love was wrong But everything was changed when you came along Oh, And there's a couple of words I wanna say for the rest of my life, I'll be with you. I'll stay by your side, honest and true, to the end of my time. I'll be loving you, loving you forever. 
for the rest of my life Through days and nights I thank Allah for opening my eyes Now and forever I, I'll be there for you I know it deep in my heart I feel so blessed when I think of you I was a foolish little child Crazy things I used to do And all the pain I put you through Mama, now I'm here for you For all the times I made you cry The days I told you lies And now it's time for you to rise For all the things you sacrificed Oh, if I could Turn back time, rewind If I could Make it undone, I swear that I would I would make it up to you I'm all grown up now, it's a brand new day I like to put a smile on your face every day I'm all grown up now, and it's not too late I like to put a smile on your face every day And now I finally understand your famous line about a day of facing time Cause now I've got a child of mine And even though I was so bad I've heard so much from you And now I'm trying to do it too Love my kid the way you do Oh, if I could Turn back time, rewind if I could Make it undone, I swear that I would I would make it up to you I'm all grown up now, it's a brand new day I like to put a smile on your face every day I'm all grown up now, and it's not too late I like to put a smile on your face every day I'm all grown up now, and it's, it's a brand new day I like to put a smile on your face every day You know you are the number one for me You know you are the number one for me You know you are the number one for me Oh, oh, number one for me You know you are the number one for me You know you are the number one for me You know you are the number one for me Oh, oh, number one there's no one in this world that can take your place Oh, I'm sorry for ever taking you for granted I will use every chance I get to make you smile Whenever I'm around you, now I'm gonna love you like you love me Only God knows how much you need to me. Oh, if I could turn back time, rewind if I could, make it undone, I swear that I would, I would make it up to you. I'm all grown up now, it's a brand new day. I like to put a smile on your face every day. I'm all grown up now. And it's not too late I like to smile on your face every day You know you are the number one for me You know you are the number one for me You know you are the number one for me Oh, oh, number one for me You know you are the number one for me You know you are the number one for me You know you are the number one for me Oh, oh, number one for me. Takbir! 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 That was beautiful, Sam. That was beautiful. Appreciate it. Hope you had as much fun as we did. <laughs> it's, uh, right? It was good, right? It was
It's good. It's so good. I liked it. Stay smiling. Stay classy, you. Nice.